the islands, home to many things for all of us new and seasoned players in Ark Survival Evolved, and home to the Megapithecus, another notorious boss for not only the island, but the center, Valgaro, and a less strong version in Gen 1 Gauntlet Mission, available in three difficulties, Gamma, Beta, and Alpha, all of which require three artifacts, the Artifact of the Devourer, the Artifact of the Brew, and the Artifact of the Pack along with some tributes from certain creatures as well. Hey guys, Kitty Cat Lepur here today, and today we will be taking a look at all the different artifact locations for the Megapithecus battle, and all the free DLC map locations as well. But first off, I want to say a great big thank you to all my current subscribers. You guys are amazing, and I seriously couldn't do it without you. And if you're new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button for pro-ish art content and if you do like what i provided for you today feel free to hit that like button and if you want to join the discord the patreon buy me a coffee or check out merch all the links are down in the description below and guys we're aiming for the big 5,000. help kitty go big or go home and you all get a cookie yay so now that that shameless plug is over let's just jump into it and be sure to stay till the end to find out which one is the easiest to farm all the artifacts for your Megapithecus needs. All artifacts can be found on the island, of course, and all the free maps too. So let's start with the Artifact of the Devourer. On the island, it can be found in the Northeast Cave, or it's also known as Carnal Island Cave. The entrance to this cave is at 14.8, 85.4, and the exact artifact location is 16.1, 84.5. Moving on over to the center in the North Ice Cave, the entrance can be found for this one at 18.7, 29.7. And this artifact is at 24.0, 26.1. Heading over to Ragnarok in the water, the artifact can be found exactly at 47.3, 2.3. On Valgaro in the Lost Temple, the entrance to this is at 46.7, 87.2, and you can find the Artifact of the Devourer at 48.7, 90.3. On Lost Island, this one is easy peasy in the water in the pirate ship. The entrance is at 82.5, 16.4, and the Artifact is underneath some plywood that you have to pick at, and it's at 82.6, 16.4. And don't you worry, because if you're looking for videos that help you get through all these caves and the locations, Kitty has done them all. All the links will be down in the description below. For our next collection of artifacts, it's the Artifact of the Brute. On the island, it can be found in the Caverns of Lost Faith, which, in my opinion, is the easier of the two water caves on this map. The entrance for this one is at 53.6, 10.5, and the artifact can be found at 60.8, 21.9. Back at it in the center in the southeast trench. We can find the brew at 69.3, 93.6. And the actual artifact is at 71.6, 87.3. In the redwoods on Ragnarok, you can find the entrance to the artifact at 36.0, 77.0. You can find the artifact at 35.2, 78.2. In the Lost Temple again on Valgaro, the entrance, if you need it again, 46.7, 87.2. And this artifact in there is at 47.8, 87.9. Back on Lost Island in the Sunset Cave. The entrance to this one is 87.1, 84.6. And the artifact is at 88.9, 82.6. Now that we have all the brood artifacts in our order, next we're going to be going for an adventure to the artifact of the pack. On the island, this can be found in the upper south cave. 
the entrance is 68.2, 56.1, and the artifact is found at 73.0, 61.0. Back on the center in one of the most challenging caves a kitty has ever been in, unless you just break out the climbing picks, of course, is the Jumping Puzzle Cave. There are many entrances to this one due to the fact that it leads on to an underground world, but we will use 53.5, 53.8. The artifact can be found at 60.6, 53.7. Getting colder over on Ragnarok, we're going to the frozen dungeon cave where you must defeat the Ice Worm Queen to retrieve the artifact of the pack. The entrance to this location is at 30.9, 37.8, and the artifact can be found at 33.5, 43.4. Over on Valgaro, you might have a little peek of the broodmother herself, but don't worry, she's not too strong, and you usually can miss her because the artifact is on the other side of her trench. The cave is called the Lair, or also known as the Broodmother Cave, and the entrance is 73.1, 40.6, and the artifact can be found at 70.1, 39.2. On Lost Island in the Twisted Vine Cave, there are three entrances, but we will be using 35.7, 29.9, and you can find the artifacts at 37.7, 29.3. But which map is easiest for all three artifacts, you may ask? Well, once again, Crystal Isles wins the easiest for all three of them. So let's head on over there, why don't we? For the Artifact of the Devourer, you can find it in the Northland at 15.5, 44.8. The Artifact of the Brute can be found in the Great Valley at 71.9, 77.3. And last but not least, Artifact of the Pack. This one is kind of in a cave with a few dangers, but it's still super easy to retrieve and not that far into the cave. The entrance is at 48.2, 75.1, and the artifact can be found at 48.0, 74.4. Please note, if you are on single player, the artifact spawns may take a little bit of time to come in. So don't fret if you can't find it at the exact coordinates. They will spawn in. So there you have it. None of these are in hard caves or underwater. So they should all be easy to farm for your Megapithecus battle. Tell us in the comments below. What do you prefer? A little bit of a challenge with caves? Or do you enjoy the easy farming experience? Either way, I hope that this helped you find all the artifacts needed for the Megapithecus. And don't forget, if you need a walkthrough for any of the caves, they are all linked below. Don't forget to grab your otter and three artifacts each to prepare for your battle with this big boy. If you did like what I provided for you today, feel free to hit that like button. And if you're new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I hope you all have a super a duper amazing day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. you you made it to the end of the video i just want to let you know that i super duper appreciate you and remember it is our attitude at the beginning of a difficult task which more than anything else will affect its successful outcome i'm super duper proud of you and i hope you have a wonderful day can't wait to see you in the next one bye